Hi, so um, in the previous video, I have um, divided our complete circuit into few sub-circuits for the convenience of the design. And in the last video, I have demonstrated that how to search component in Eagle PCB. So in this video, I'm going to show you the our first um, sub-circuit design process. Okay, so uh, let's uh, find out the components. So we are going to design a power supply. The power supply will convert our um, input voltage into the 5 voltage um, so the 5 voltage uh, that is the logic voltage for 80 mega 328 so our input voltage range might be 7 volt to 12 volt so that's why uh, I have selected the 7 8 0 5 regulator okay let's uh, find out the 7 8 0 regulator from our um, part library okay so uh, we need to uh, first we will add the 7 8 0 5 so uh, just um, click on add part okay after that just search for 7805 okay nothing will pop up so just put a star after the 7805 the, this will expand our search okay and there is a lot of option uh, for adafruit as well as in the linear okay i'm just um, I, i'm going to uh, select part from the linear so uh, 7805 first one second one there are four uh, i think there are five uh, components uh, five models of the same uh, actually five variants of the same model Okay, so when you are going to select a component, uh, just uh, look here. Okay, so this is the schematic symbol of the component, and this is the PCB symbol, or this is the mechanical dimension with the mechanical spec with the mechanical um, dimension actually. So, so this is the most important part of your uh, design because uh, here you can see that how much um, uh, space this component will consume, and this is the, the symbol. So, and this is uh, this symbol you will use for the connecting or designing your schematic, but this one is also important. So, you can see that uh, one variant and this variant, and this is the uh, vertically mounted of the 7805 symbol, and this one is the horizontally mounted of the 7805 regulator. So, in my design, I always prefer um, horizontally mounted component because um, this will um, uh, this normally uh, this normally takes uh, less height. So I prefer always this um, symbol for 7805. Okay, go, uh, let's uh, select this one. Okay, just double click on for selecting. So after that, um, the component will uh, snap with your mouse pointer. So you have to just uh, left click for one copy and another left for another copy. Okay, that's why you can select multiple copy of the same component. Okay, that's it. Now I need to select another component. The component is the um, capacitor. So first I will select the uh, storage capacitor and secondly I will select the uh, bypass capacitor. Um, so if you know the difference between the storage capacitor and bypass capacitor, please um, put the comment um, in my under my videos. Um, uh, so in the next video, I'm going to explain what's the difference between storage capacitor and the bypass capacitor. Okay, okay. Uh, let's put the first. We will put the storage capacitor. So when you are putting uh, component one after another in, into the schematic window, so what you can do, do, you can press escape. Okay. If you press press escape, this will bring your uh, add part component again. So from here you can easily select another component. Okay. So we, we are going to select a capacitor C A P A C A T U R. Okay. So we are going to select capacitor from C pole E U. This is the main RCL. R means resistor, C means capacitor, L means inductor. This is the main RCL library, and you are going to use most of your resistor capacitor from RCL library. So and there are uh, C pole E U, C pole E U S. C pole means C polarized capacitor, European type capacitor, and this is the library for the C polarized U S type capacitor. So we will expand the this one. US type capacitor. So you can see that um, you have to select the component from this. There are a lot of options. Uh, there are a lot of op uh, there are lot, lot of options for the storage capacitor. Storage capacitor normally polarized capacitor. Okay, so not this one. Then just um, click on the uh, up and top arrow to select this, or you can also use the mouse pointer. But I can I prefer the um, um, up and bottom arrow. Okay. Okay, no, this one I, I guess. I guess this one is perfect. Uh, and this one dimension means uh, 10 millimeter by 10 millimeter dimension. So I'm just I'm going to select this variant for my design. Okay, so uh, I'm going to put uh, one at the input and another one at the output. Okay, 
okay i need to delete this one so what i can do i can select the delete key um, delete uh, toolbox from the left select the delete toolbox after that so whenever you are going to um, perform any action on any component you have to um, just uh, select that toolbox that tool from the toolbox after that you will select the cg point this is the cg point of any component the plus point you will click on that point okay so okay so i need to move this component from this point to this point so i will select the move tool right so this is the move toolbox i am select the move toolbox after that i am going to select this component by pressing on plus here so after that the component will snap with the mouse pointer and i am just going to move this component okay this way i can move any component as well as um, this component okay and now i need the barrel jack right <coughs> okay let's going to find the barrel jack for barrel jack i am going to uh, search for b a double r e l and star okay the barrel jack is available on adafruit library okay uh, this is the through hole version and this is the smd version i am going to select the through hole option okay if you don't know the difference between through hole and smd you can see that uh, this is the two hole uh, component and this is the smd component smt or smd some people say smt smt means surface mount technology the components are soldered on surface and through hole component are uh, soldered through a uh, hole and they are joined through hole okay this is the difference between smt and surface mount component uh, you can also see the difference from here this is the through hole type component and um, that is soldered through a uh, hole and the smd component is soldered uh, on the surface of the PCB. Oh, this is the main difference actually. It doesn't significant. Okay, okay. Let's connect this component first. After that, we will um, just connect the bypass capacitor. Okay, just we need to uh, for we need OR for connecting these components, right? So this is the NET tool, uh, which is which we are going to use for connecting schematic and the schematic window editor. So we will select the NET tool. After selecting the NET tool, uh, we have to um, zoom. Actually, this is the we have to zoom the um, we can zoom the window just uh, just uh, moving our scroll uh, ma mouse scroll right this is the mouse scroll okay I'm just uh, zoom in or zoom out sorry zoom out or zoom in okay just zoom out okay you can see that when you are going to connect a components with another component you will see this uh, green circle that means you need to click uh, left mouse and just uh, it release your mouse pointer and just uh, just you will just uh, drag your mouse and connect okay similarly i'm going to connect this one okay and i will just in here this way i'm going to connect the ground from starting point to in point okay so i'm going to connect this one with the power and this one with the ground right okay i'm going to connect the ground with the ground connection okay so this is the main uh, actually this is the basic schematic of our power supply and this is the output so we'll connect our output with um and the connection we will just use that for later and the next video i will just add few more components to make this power supply perfect right